going back to censorship, um, so there are lots of different ways people use censorship. So, for example, is something like self-censorship, is that is that a valid concept? Yeah, I think it is. It, it can be used invalidly. It's valid. Um, so, again, if you go to the Danish cartoon crisis and the Danish newspapers publishing these cartoons as a test, and it's a test, so they've heard from various people that there's uh, an atmosphere of self-censorship that people won't write or publish, especially uh, about Muhammad and depictions of Muhammad and so on. And if you ask, what is the reason why they won't do it? If it was just, look, a lot of people are going to tell us we're crazy, um, we're going to be socially ostracized and so on. So we're, we're not going to pay that price. I don't regard that as self, it, it might be the reason they're not doing it, but I would not describe it as self-censorship. But if their reason is people are gonna attack us and try to kill us and burn down our house and our newspaper and so on, and that's the reason we won't, and particularly that's what's gonna happen and the government is not going to protect us. So we're not publishing these and so on. That is self-censorship and it's, it's it's why censorship, because it's again, it's the government defaulting on its responsibility to protect your right to freedom of speech. And especially if it's an environment in which sort of the government doesn't want, I mean, there's reasons to think in Europe, we don't want problems with Islam. So, so we're quite happy if people don't do this and why do they need to provoke and so on. So it's like, if they had the power to censor, they would stop people from doing this. And, oh, so we'll sort of turn a blind eye and not do very much to protect people. And that will make it go away. And then it becomes, yeah, this is akin to censorship. So self-censorship is not literally censorship, but there's something fundamentally similar about what is going on. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>